A very nice feature the Lake Controller has is the ability of using linear phase crossovers. I can load up a module that is either a 24 dB, a 48 dB, or a linear phase brick wall crossover. For example, I'm going to do a 24 dB on this two-way box. And after that, I'm using either Wave Capture or Smart Live on a separate computer, and that computer has a microphone connected to it, and I can do a transfer function of that box. And I can try and see how a linear phase crossover works for this specific box. So I'm running pink noise, and I can open this. Of course, I can mute my different bands if I want to. I'm going to keep them both on just for demo purposes. And I'm going to go into Analyzer Bridge. I can turn on Transfer Function. And I have already captured a delay time, 8.53. This delay time is related also to the alignment delay. When using linear phase uh, crossovers, there is an extra latency uh, for the processing. So if I move the linear phase crossover around, I can see how my phase changes, also my response changes. But notice that there is a flat phase response on the crossover point. You can definitely see it there. Another nice thing that the crossover section has on the lay controller when you're in designer mode is the option of adding all pass filters. So if I add this all pass filter here, notice how the phase changes at the bottom. So I'm adding a 180 degree uh, all pass filter, which is only a phase filter, to the highs at this point. I can, of course, then complement this whole thing with uh, crossovers that might be needed to tune this box better. And with the comfort of having a transfer function exactly on top of the EQ window.